Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a recent issue that's been noticed with WD Red 2 to 6 dB hard drives for NAS. Now these WD Red hard drives, I use the word issue, it's actually a little bit more complex than that. This is to do with how the drives are built and how much WD have told people about these drives. Now I along with many many other platforms have been talking about the necessity, utility and Use, utilization of NAS based hard drives with WD Red and Seagate Iron Wolf pretty much being the two that we've championed above most of the others. Being the fact that if you are using a NAS server, then chances are you're going to have the device on for 24 7 and you're going to be using it in a RAID environment. That's when you've got multiple drives being read and written to at the same time. And the reason NAS drives have always been suitable for that is they are designed to be utilized in those two key areas. Now, WD Red hard drives are a series of NAS hard drives that have been around for a long time, but uh, recent findings from places like UCL, a guy called Alan Brown, and Data Hoarder and a few other uh, Reddit um, and forums and Synology's own Reddit as well, um, have noticed that the uh, number of model numbers in the 2 to 6 TB range of WD Red standard NAS hard drives have featured something called SMR, something we've talked about on the channel before, known as shingled magnetic recording. Now, traditionally, NAS hard drives are supposed to have PMR or CMR. So um, CMR is conventional magnetic recording and PMR is perpendicular magnetic recording. What that means is all the platters are separate. Uh, all the, the lines on the platters are separate. With shingled magnetic recording, typically utilized in archive and cold storage and long-term storage, the layers are slightly overlapped. The right layers being larger are overlapped all the way along and these drives generally do not provide the same level of performance, particularly in read, write, less so, but definitely in the read stakes. And the result is, if you utilize them in RAID, you're not using the right tool for the job. And particularly if you have multiple drives being used at the same time. Now, SMR has been used in drives before and it's still used today, but it's used in drives that are for archive and cold storage because you write data to them, but Although performance is always a factor, these are not drives that are in constant utilization of read, write, deletion, rewrite, and stuff like that all the time. Data is put on them and they are archived. Now, WD alone aren't the only ones being pointed at here. Seagate have been utilizing SMR in their drive series for a number of years and it has been spotted in certain Barracudas and they have also had their own SMR championed range in their archive series. I think we talked about the one of the cheapest 8 and 10 TB drives out there that were part of the Seagate archive series because it used shingle magnetic recording and it didn't make a secret of that. And also with the Barracuda drives and using SMR in standalone drives isn't the end of the world because a standalone desktop drive is not going to be on 24-7. It's not, or oh, shouldn't be used 24-7 really. And is in a single drive environment. The issue here lies around the following. One, the idea that WD did not volunteer this information very easily. It's not inside their data sheets and they're utilizing SMR inside a NAS drive, which at home level, as they rightly pointed out in their statement, which should be on screen, home drives should be absolutely fine because they're not gonna be getting the kind of performance output that, um, might be an issue with utilizing SMR drives. Now, the extent of that is up for you to decide really in your own user case scenario, but bigger business and enterprise level users, this is a bit of a blow. And although they have been told that they should be utilizing pro NAS hard drives for a long time, it's worth highlighting that a number of them haven't. They have been using standard 4 and 6 TB hard drives, particularly small, medium business um, SMB there in the middle. And may have been using drives that might not have been quite as good as they thought or were led to believe. And that's kind of the big issue here. SMR is generally utilized on drives that are a little bit lower priced. They're utilized for archive and not built for the regular access that a NAS drive should be, and therefore not priced as such. And you can have drive managed SMR, which is what they're suggesting the WD Red um, 2 to 6 TB models in question are utilizing. But even drive managed SMR is just SMR dressed up real pretty. And 
it is putting a lot of people off. Now, this is a developing story. It's only, I mean, it's been something that's been speculated upon for quite a few months in a number of different platforms. But WD have now had to address this with their statement. And although it hasn't knocked my faith in WD Red in and their NAS hard drive series, as this story develops, it may well change the way a number of you think about buying these drives. Whether WD will have to re-release this series, who knows? If you're already an owner of these drives, what do you do? Well, um, Seagate are being quite open about that. Um, Seagate, WD uh, are being remarkably open about that. They are saying... If you think you do have any performance issues, do reach out to them straight away and they will open up a dialogue with you immediately. But they do feel their product is still the product they have promised to you. And if you do know more about this, do let me know in the comments. There should be an Ask Compare article linked below, um, which will tell you more about this. And moreover, I'd like to know what you guys think about this because although there's lots of factual information to back this up and we do like to work on that, I do think there's a lot of smoke and mirrors in this, and I think it's the top tier people that are using like ZFS uh, and RAID Z and stuff like that who are the most affected by this. And if you think you've ever spotted something like this before, maybe some of the other threads about this that you want to share, do let me know below. But as this story continues, we will update as much as possible. I probably won't do a whole video about this each time, but I will update the article below. But other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do click like if you want to learn more. And if you want to stay attuned of what's happening with this story, do click subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time.